everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Jergens Instant Sun Tanning Mousse. And um, I'm just about to jump in the shower and I'm going to exfoliate and shave and get my skin all prepped to uh, use the product. And I'll give you a little step by step and we'll go through it together. Guess we will see how we like it. So I just showered and um, exfoliated. Um, I am obviously not a huge self tanner. I don't tan on a regular basis. I'm pretty pasty white. So this is my first time trying this product and I'm hoping that it'll give me a nice summer glow seeing as it is June here and it's just starting to really get nice and um, I'm hoping to get kind of a nice glowy, not too intense look. So we'll see how this goes. So obviously I'm not an expert, but I've read that you're supposed to moisturize your elbows, your hands, your knees, and your feet because um, those are the driest spots on your body and you want to put a little bit of a barrier there so that um, not all of the tan sticks because that will look a little bit wonky. So I'm about to do that now. So seeing as I'm a new mom, um, I'm just using the Aveeno um, Baby Soothing Relief Moisture Cream um, because that's all I have on hand right now. So hopefully that works. So one thing I realized after getting this product is that I don't have a tanning mitt. So I looked online to kind of see what I could use um, as a replacement. I found out that you can use saran wrap. And I also heard that you can use a sock. So I'm gonna do both. I'm going to put saran wrap around my hand and then use a sock over top. So here goes. I'm gonna put two on to add an extra barrier. Wow, this looks super stupid. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna use. As dumb as that looks, um, we'll see if it works. So here's the product. I just got, yeah, the Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun. I got this in light bronze because I'm pale as heck, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe that's too much. Ugh. Is that too much? Oh well. We'll give it a go. Oh! I just spilled. Sorry. I'm not good at this. Holy crap. Okay. Just trying to spread it out as evenly as I can. Get the insides of my arms. All the way up. And I hear this has a color guard. I'm gonna try to get in between all my fingers. I hear this has a color guard, so you can like see how much you put on. And personally, that doesn't look hardly any different. So I'm gonna do, sure, two more pumps, why not? Maybe if I leave it for a bit, it will do something. And my stomach. Let's just go wild. Is that a bad idea? Whatever, let's just give this a go. I'm nervous. I'm just gonna leave that. I don't know if that looks any different to you guys, but we'll see. I'm going to do my neck now. I'll just do two, nah, let's go crazy, do three pumps. Um, my neck is something I'd like to have, I would like to have darker. That's the part that most people actually see. Another three pumps, dangerous, but whatever. I'm not sure if this develops. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure if this like tanning 
mousse actually like develops or if this is the color I'm gonna get. But I'm gonna keep this on for a good most of the day before washing it off. And we're going to see um, what happens if it gets darker, if it just stays the same. Yeah, so that's my arm that I have not yet tanned. This is the arm that I have tanned. I don't know if you can tell. This is just an honest review. We'll see how it goes. Um, while we're at it, why not? I don't see much of a difference, so we're just going to go crazy and add another three pumps. Because I want to be, like, noticeably tan. Not, like, insanely tan, but noticeably tan. I'm going to do my thighs and my legs. Ah! I guess I missed a part on the saran wrap because that is not good. I tried washing it off and it's still there, so hopefully I can like exfoliate that off or something. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of a better job on the other hand. Alright, so I know it says not to use it on your face, but I'm going to use it on my face because I don't have a darker foundation and I just don't always want to be wearing foundation. So I'm going to do it, but I'm just going to mix it with a little bit of moisturizer. Yikes. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Cause I want a little bit more. I'm obviously not someone who tans often because this is probably a really bad idea. But I want a tan face. So, I don't know if you guys can actually like tell a difference. Um, I can in my lighting. I'm gonna have to get some better photos, but um, let's see. Let's take it out into the lateral light and see if we can notice a difference at all. Oh, okay. My bags are very obvious and my face is really tan. Shiza. Okay, that's what foundation is for, right? Um, okay, so to me, I do look more bronzed but not like an insane amount right but just a little bit my face though i think i need to go like scrub that because i think i just got dark in places i don't want to get dark such as my under eyes and my nose um yeah so i will maybe try to go wash that off i'm gonna let this sit for a while and see if it develops anymore all right so it has been a couple of hours and I feel like it has gotten a little bit darker actually. I definitely don't look as pasty as I was before. I don't know if you can see very well, but um, yeah, I, I look a little bit dark, a little bit more bronzed, and um, I'm a big fan actually. It didn't come off too blotchy. I'm really impressed with um, how the sock worked. My face is a little bit blotchy and I think it's just because I was not supposed to do my face. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm going to try to give you guys a full body shot. So I know this isn't like the best ever lighting, but um, I'm still pretty pale because I was super pale to begin with. So overall, I do love the product. Um, it gave me a nice natural bronze um, and glow that I didn't have before. 
Um, it's not too intense. It doesn't really look like I tanned myself. It doesn't look unnatural. It just makes me look um, a little more alive and um, sun-kissed. The only downside to this product is that it does leave my skin feeling kind of sticky until I wash it off. Um, it does say on the bottle that it dries in 60 seconds. I don't feel like it does. It still felt a little bit wet before I washed it off. That's the one downside, but other than that, I love the product and I wouldn't change it. Um, after washing it off and everything, it's still there, didn't wash off, and uh, yeah. I would definitely use this again, and I would highly recommend, seeing as it was only like $9. Definitely worth the money, and I'll be using this unless I can find another product that I like better. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below some other products that I should try out. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to recommend. And yeah, if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos.